What's up everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. So today I just want to dive a little bit deeper into the microtransactions that are going to be in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now at this point, I just completely accept them. I mean, we've been through so much with so many different content creators voicing their opinions about it. But no matter what anybody says, microtransactions are not going anywhere. Like I said, the only way you could possibly change microtransactions is with your money. If you choose not to purchase them, if you choose not to purchase the game, pre-order the game, those things will definitely change how Activision handles their games. But as we all know, the Call of Duty community, that is never going to happen. There's going to be countless amounts of people who go off and drop 20 bucks on supply crates or stuff like that. So I have accepted it. I've come to the point where gaming will never, never in a million years be what it used to be. Where you would buy a game and all the content was there. I'm, I'm just going to have to get over it. And as much as it irritates me being a hardcore gamer at heart, I mean, I've been playing video games since I was a little baby with my parents. My parents were both gamers as well. So I love video games. I've seen them from when they started to how they are now. And it's depressing, but there's not much we could do at this point besides accept the fact that Activision is going to continuously add microtransactions into their game. But today, I want to talk a little bit about what I think is the perfect microtransaction system that Activision can add into Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, obviously, like I just said, I would prefer if there's no microtransactions in the game. But like I just said, that's not happening. So... I have come up with a little something something, pretty much a list I guess you could say, of certain features that I would like to see implemented into their microtransaction system to make it fair and fun. So of course, as you all know, the main purpose of microtransactions is for Activision to make a few extra bucks. They're not there to you know, give us content that we enjoy or something that we want or anything to benefit the actual consumers, it's just so Activision can make a quick buck. So at the end of the day, microtransactions, they're going to have to make Call of Duty some money. You know, we can't just say, okay, so the only microtransactions in this game are going to be supply drops with stickers. Nobody's going to purchase that. So they need something or some things to make sure that people will actually want to open up their wallets and give you their credit card or give you their cash. Now, I just want to get this straight before anything. I do not want to see weapons in any any system that revolves you paying money towards it. Even if it's in supply drops, I do not want to see that because people can purchase supply drops. If you could get a weapon in any possible way, you could you could do it in any way that you want, where you, whether you have to do a challenge or you know a group of headshots, whatever you want to do. As long as there's not a dollar amount stuck on the end of the actual weapon, I will be perfectly fine with it. Now Activision obviously knows that weapons are huge selling points. If they want to make a lot of money, you want to put overpowered weapons in the supply drops or even in the shop. You know, anything that will give someone an advantage in a video game, obviously Activision knows people will cough up money for that. But at the end of the day, it's just not fair. It is not fair. And if that's how they're going to handle the microtransaction systems in Modern Warfare, I will no longer support this game. I refuse to. Now, weapon variants are definitely an interesting twist on things that I can see in the supply drops or if they add these things into the shop. Whether it's unique looks for your weapons or, you know, different traits that give you better accuracy or better recoil control. I don't know. Specific variants of your weapon. I could see those added into the supply drops. And those would be good ways to make a quick buck for Activision. It will encourage people to obviously want to put money towards the system, which I can't believe I'm even making a video like this. I feel awful making a microtransaction video with how much I despise them. But like I said, please guys, do not hate me. I'm just trying to make it more fair. I'm throwing out ideas that would hopefully make it more fair for the whole player base. But if you allow people to purchase weapon variants, it would allow Activision to definitely make an income people would want to put money into that system. And on top of that, you can still get the base gun without putting money into the system. So if you're a person who doesn't want to put any money into the microtransactions, like me personally, you're okay. You can still unlock the gun like every other person does. 
You can still unlock attachments for it, weapon perks, and you can still equip it up to make it a very powerful weapon. But if you want that fancy variant, like let's think back to Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 had a lot of cool weapon variants, or skins I guess you could say, that completely changed the look of the weapon. Not just, you know, change the color of your AK to a brown and black scheme to completely pink, but you know, it actually changes features on that weapon. So the weapon no longer looks the same. Even though you know it's an AK-47, it definitely looks different, it stands out, and people would like that. And I'm sure people would definitely cough up money to have their weapons look different in that type of way. Then comes the skins. Just the basic, regular looking skins in the game. Now, Infinity Ward kind of said that they're going to try to keep a lot of the skins looking more realistic. So your traditional woodland camos or, you know, desert camos, different schemes like that that are more realistic for actual warfare. Now, of course, just like the weapon variants, I can totally see them boxing up some of these camos and selling them to the public, whether it's in their shop or in a tier system, which I hope they don't bring back again. But regardless, I could still see Infinity Ward selling these camos. Now, this is going to be a little far-fetched of a request, but I'm still going to put it out there. I know for a fact the weapon variants, the camos that are going to change the style and look of your weapon, it's no way you're going to be able to just unlock that. You're going to have to purchase that probably through the shop or some other crazy system. I can't imagine them just handing them out like they did in Black Ops 4, where you could grind through the tier system and unlock those variants. But I have a feeling that with this game having so much free content and, you know, the whole emphasis on making this game, you know, a total crossplay game for all of the community to play at once, they're not going to take it that easy like they did with Black Ops 4. So if all the weapon variants are going to be, you know, have a cost or price tag on it, I would definitely like to see a lot of just the traditional skins or even cool looking skins that they decide to put into the game work through challenges. I miss the challenge grind in this game. With all your weapons that you have in all these Call of Duty games, they give you like, what, maybe 10 camos that you can grind through every single year and that's it. After that, you either grind through the tier system like you did in Black Ops 4, or you purchase the camos with real money. But I would love, absolutely love, to see actual challenges implemented for some of these camos. Just like with the headshot challenges in MW2, even though there are challenges like in Black Ops 4, but I'm just talking about new added in camos that come after the initial release of the game. I guess what I'm saying is I just don't want to see all the camos locked behind paywalls. I would like for there to be some type of grind in the game, something that would keep people coming back to the game not to cough up money, but to actually play it and have a good time experiencing your game. Also, I don't know how a lot of you guys feel about this topic, but I would not like to see a return of the tier system again for Call of Duty. It works perfectly in free to play games like Fortnite and Apex Legends. But in games that you pay a complete $60 for, I just don't like it. Unless they completely take out a way for you to purchase your way through the tiers, I don't want to see it. Now, if it's like, you know, an only grind factor to it, I enjoy it. But like I said, if you could pay through the tiers, it's not going to work. Because if you could pay through the tiers, then they will probably put weapons behind the tier system. And just like with Black Ops 4, people will pay their way through the tier system, get the overpowered weapons, and have a blast. Or they'll pay to pay through the tier system and get the cool, look cool looking skins and have a blast. Sorry if I'm stuttering, I just hate microtransactions. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I just don't think tier systems belong in Call of Duty in general. So overall, I think the best way that you could handle the microtransactions in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is as simple as this. No possible way for you to pay for your weapons. Any weapons that are added into the game must be earnable, or you just give them to the public without having to do any challenges. But anybody who could pay money towards getting an overpowered weapon is a 100% no-no. That should never happen in any video game, not just Call of Duty. Then for the weapon variants, make them cool, make them awesome, and you can definitely charge for those, even if you do want to toss a couple of weapon variants into the mix that we can grind for. But of course, I do understand if you want to slap a price tag on those. That's one thing that I'm completely okay with. Skins as well. 
I'm totally okay with them slapping a price tag on all the skins. I would enjoy, like I said, seeing a couple of skins here and there added into the mix where you can grind a challenge or do something that will hopefully allow you to unlock the skin. Don't obviously make every single skin in the game payable. But the only thing that you should be able to pay for in the microtransaction system in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is definitely cosmetics. I don't want to see any perks, no kill streaks, no weapons. I don't want to see any of that nonsense. I just want to see skins for your characters, skins for your weapons, and variants for your weapons. If they stick to those things, I will be okay with their shop in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And the last thing I do not want to see in this game is the tier system. We do not need another tier system in a Call of Duty game. Yes, it might work in other titles that are free to play, but in this game, it just does not work. Shoot, I even prefer the tier system in Battlefield 5. At least you can't pay your way through that to get all the stuff. And when you do pay your way, or not pay your way, but when you do grind through it, there's no overpowered weapons in it. It's just skins, camos, all that cool stuff that will make you look more cooler in-game, and things that aren't paid to win. It's very simple, Activision. It's extremely simple. Just no paid to win. That's all you gotta do. That's what completely destroyed Black Ops 4 for me, was paid to win. And specialists, of course. I never really cared for the specialist cheese abilities that give any random player an easy free kill. But on top of that, all the weapons that were stuck in the supply crates, like the Peacekeeper, again, you know how long I grinded in Black Ops 3 to even attempt to get the Peacekeeper, and I still did not get it? I played that game for like almost two to three years of dedicated play time, and I still did not unlock the Peacekeeper. It's just an unfair way of doing anything that involves weapons in any Call of Duty game. Why would you do that to people? Why would you add in an awesome, cool new weapon into your game, but then you hide it behind a gambling mechanic that you aren't even 100% guaranteed to win out of? Don't forget Activision, you're charging $60 for this game. And with the price tag that hefty on a video game, you have to manage what you add into your game, that's microtransactions, and what you don't add into it as well. So pretty much just keep it cosmetic only. That's all I ask. If they keep it cosmetic only and variants only, I think that Call of Duty Modern Warfare might have a great chance at making it the full year. But the second they add a weapon into that supply list or a weapon that costs 10, 20 bucks, I'm done. It's over, guys. I, I can't handle another year of weapons being added into the game in such a pay-to-win manner. But thank you guys so much for listening to this video. I know it's a little bit different of a rant just talking about microtransactions again. But I just wanted to come to you guys with how I personally think is the best way you can implement these things into a Call of Duty game. I love this franchise. I love to play it every single year. I purchase their games literally every single year. I never missed a year. I love this game. And seeing Activision doing such dirty practices inside this title because they know they can just offends me. And I do not like it. And I, I of course, I do not appreciate it. So I just wanted to come to you guys today and just lay out my specific rules that I would like to see with how the microtransactions are handled in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Make sure you go ahead and leave your comments down below on how you think the microtransactions should be held in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Do you think it's okay that guns are handled in a pay-to-win manner in Black Ops 4? Do you think they should do the same thing in Modern Warfare? Do you think, you know, microtransactions should be cosmetic only? What do you think about this whole game? Because don't forget, they're giving us a lot of free stuff. They're giving us all the DLC maps for free, cross-play. There's a lot of positive sides to this game. So there might have to be a few negatives just to weigh it out and balance the whole thing. But thank you guys for tuning in to yet another video. If you enjoyed it, you can always leave a like. If you hate it, you can always dislike. If you're new to the channel and you found this through YouTube search, you can always subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button if you want to see some more of my content. Also, if you just want to catch me chatting with you guys or posting some behind the scenes clips, I'm always doing that over on Twitter, at JBonaMan. And if you just want to catch me streaming some video games, I'm over on Twitch, at JBonaMan as well. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.